in this topic we are going to actually sum up uh, all about the repatriation process and what should be the strategy of the organization to ensure an effective repatriation process of expatriates who are sent on international assignments we have more or less discussed about these things in various different topics that we have covered on the reentry of the repatriates or uh, that are sent on international assignments but in this topic uh, we are going to talk about uh, the summarized form of the proactive strategies which can be adopted by the organization to ensure the effectiveness so let's take a look what these proactive strategies could be uh number 1 the proactive strategy an organization can implement is managing expectation via pre departure briefings on what can be expected during the assignment and upon return uh, so you need to manage the expectation of the people who are being sent ki aapko kya expect karna chahiye kis tarah ke cultural changes ho sakte hain kis tarah ki organizational changes ho sakte hain what would be the um, uh, what would be the challenges of your assignment and when you come back what would be expected from you and what would be the organization willing to invest on you when you come back so uh, all this kind of perception building is very much important and if it is built in the expatriation and repatriation program then the uh, process can be managed very well uh another proactive strategy is uh, development of multiple career planning sessions focusing on a career objective and performance indicators uh what would be the performance indicators of the person who is going on the international assignment that must be chalked out and that must be communicated to the person and this should be done by expert hr people or people who have been sent on uh, who are expatriates or who have repatriated back from an international assignment so that this is something which should be communicated that what is expected and what are going to be the performance indicators on the international assignment so the person who is going on an international assignment should know then if it is possible then written repatriate agreements when feasible and the types of assignment available on return this should also be something which should be communicated to the employee and if it is possible then it should be part of the contract then when you come back what are you going to be offered for example when i was sent on a uh, phd abroad uh, it was a uh, kind of written in the rules of the university then when i come back i will be appointed as an assistant professor while i when i was going i was going as a lecturer so it was uh known to me that it is going to lead to some kind of career development then another aspect is something which we we have already talked about in the previous uh, topic and that is mentoring programs uh that continue to create the link between the person who is working in the host country and the home country uh this practice may actually help to notify any kind of uh, post assignment dissonance and reduce the turnover uh, so agar uh, koi aisa problem jo ke emerge ho raha ho uh, on the international assignment agar mentor jo hai wo continuously uh, contact mein hai to he can actually notify the organization ke this is a problem which is coming up and the organization can actually deal with it for example if the person is expecting too much at return so uski expectations ko theek level ke upar lane ke liye jo post repatriation dissonance hai usko reduce karne ke liye agar uski koi orientation ki ja sake to that is something which would be helpful then another aspect of the proactive strategies to manage an effective repatriation process is extended home visits to keep up the social family and organizational changes um, so uh, a person who is sent on international assignment is given extended um, leaves to come back and visit home so that he can actually uh, reconnect with the people uh, re establish the social ties he can uh, connect with friends and family and with the organizational members as well and this serves as something uh, uh, that a person does not totally disappear from the map of the people who are in the home country 
Uh, then another thing which can be developed is reorientation programs to provide the expatriate with a briefing on changes in strategy, policies and organization. So any kind of changes which take place in the organization, some kind of reorientation program would also help. A personalized reorientation program by the multinational to the expatriate and his or her family uh, to deal with the emotionally disturbing aspects of culture shock and all the readjustments that may be taking place when person people move from one place to the other. So the, a, personalized, a personalized reorientation program is something which may be able to help the person and his family readjust back to the home country. Then personalized financial and tax assistance. This is something which we have already talked about so that the person and, and uh, it, it could also include uh, gi giving that person some kind of short term loan so that he can, you know, buy a new house, buy a new car, because obviously he is moving back to a new environment and uh, he would need to establish all these uh, assets. Uh, for his family and for himself. So maybe the organization can extend some kind of financial help for that purpose. It could also provide some kind of an adjustment period upon return that may or may not include a vacation or reduced workload. So uh, if the organization is able to provide some time to the person to adjust back uh, and uh, it could include a kind of a short leave, uh, a vacation. When a person comes back, he's sent on a holiday uh, so that he is able to adjust to the uh, readjustment process. Or uh, he is given a reduced uh, workload so that uh, all the changes, the reverse culture shock and the adjustment of the family, whatever is taking toll on his mind, it is something which can be uh, taken care of by a reduced workload. And then finally, a very important aspect of creating uh, an effective repatriation program is the visible and concrete expression of the repatriate's value to the firm. And this is something which can be done by celebrating, by celebrating his return, by conducting some kind of sessions in which he uh, transfers the knowledge, in which he talks about his experiences abroad, in which he shares what he has learned, and uh, something, uh, all these uh, types of things, they will actually seal and reinforce this new, more globally encompassing relationship between the m and &E and the repatriate. So you need to actually give a clear expression of the value that you have, the multinational has for, its uh, for, for the person who is repatriating back that yes, we value your international experience and that should be done in an explicit form, in the form of form, formal celebrations and uh, things like that. So uh, these are the various different proactive strategies that should be employed in the expatriation and repatriation program in order to build a pool of global managers who, um, uh, who are able to develop a competitive advantage for your organization.